How's it going guys? This week on Can You Game On It, we are going to be talking about a brand new RPG made in Indonesia by the studio called Gamecom Team. The game's name is Parakachu and it brings homage to games such as Bully as well as Yakuza. So let's talk a little bit about this game. Parakachu is a third person adventure game where you play as Budi, a new transfer student at 69 City Janchu High School. 69. Was that intentional? Okay, so the main problem about the school is that the school is controlled by many, many gangs. And you, Woody, need to help Parakachu, that's the name of your gang, by the way, to beat the other gangs and become the ruler of the school, the king of the gangs, you know? Man, that's very intense. But anyways, other than gangs and fights and all that, this game also tells the story of friendship, chaos, romance, and everything else in between. Just like any Sinetron. You guys don't know what Sinetron means. It means Indonesian drama. So according to Steam also, the game features an intense teenager story with a school theme, kind of like Persona, I suppose. And it also allows you to explore a brutal school set in Indonesia, which I'm sure a lot of our local players in Indonesia would absolutely love. You can beat up other gangs, which is always very fun. You can create your own love story at school, which I am hoping that you can, it's kind of like Persona where you can choose your favorite girl, romance them, and finally date them. And you also get to solve various mysteries at school. I'm wondering if there's gonna be side quests as well, because that's the feature. And also, you get to strengthen booty as you play, like most RPG games out on the market, which is super, super fun. Okay, so the game isn't quite out yet, but I was able to experience the demo. Let's talk about what I liked about the game first. I absolutely love that the game brings back nostalgia from the older games such as Bully in a more localized scenario in Southeast Asia because like it's rare to see our own region featured in any kind of like the Western games and to have a game like that in the Indonesian setting as well as the school uniforms that's pretty cool number two classic beat-em-ups always fun you cannot go wrong with them Number three, I absolutely love the animation from the game's cover. It has such good art and it definitely exceeds the expectations of what I would like to see in a video game cover made here in Southeast Asia. Number four, I absolutely love the finishers in the game as well as cues for it. And I hope as we level up, we get different finishers because that would be awesome. It kind of reminds me of the finishers in Destiny 2 and it's so cool. Alright, so while the game is pretty great, it has a lot of potential, I am kind of a little bit disappointed in the game because it does come with quite a few flaws that I feel like I need to point out, which I'm hoping that when the game comes out, it can be ironed out. Now the first one, the graphics. Okay. Don't get me wrong, the graphics are beautiful. I love how the settings look. I love how the light rays shine in the right places. I love the lighting and I absolutely like how what they've done with the characters' faces. It looks really cool. But the characters kind of look odd and out of place at times. Um, the faces look good, but their bodies look a little bit skewed. I don't know if this is because it's an alpha build, but I do hope they work on that eventually. Number two, let's talk about the controls. The controls are actually very easy. They're not that complicated, but I felt like it was a little bit odd because mostly Woody, he fights with his fists and he's known to, you know, go through his problems, overcome his problems with his fists. So for those kind of games, I prefer to use A to attack rather than um, uh, L, B, and R, B because those are more for, you know, guns. But it's okay if that is what they want to do. I don't mind. But I would honestly prefer if we were allowed to map our own buttons or maybe change the button layout because I prefer something along the lines more like Kingdom Hearts where it's very, very direct, where it's like A for attack, X for block, B for dodge roll, you know? Those are very simple buttons and I feel like it translates better to the game. But that's just my personal opinion. Now, for what I'm really disappointed about is actually the input delay. There are many times when I'm attacking, I'm blocking and I already want to move on to the next punch and 
nothing happens. Either nothing happens or it happens very late. There's a very big input delay there from my buttons to the game. I cannot tell if there's a problem with my controller. I hope not. I really think that it isn't because I've played other games on my PC and I've never seen this input delay before and I hope they do address that eventually. Next up, let's talk about the voice acting. I know that the game is still in its early stages but <laughs> I cannot take the game seriously when the characters are talking with some kind of AI translator. Fuck. Hey there. So can anyone tell me where is that student count? Sounds like kind of like um Google Translate and it's very monotonous and really funny and I just I don't know, when I was playing, I think my one reaction was like Fuck. So yeah, I hope that they have proper uh, voice actors come in soon. In general, leaves a lot to be desired. I know that in terms uh, in Indonesia, the main language is Bahasa Indonesia, and I do not blame them at all for not having the best English. But I really hope that instead of trying to use English as their main medium, I really hope that they will record their voices in Bahasa Indonesia just to kind of like give it the authenticity and maybe just stick with uh, English subtitles and hopefully a, a better English speaker to English translator can come in to help out. Okay, another big problem I faced with the game is crashing. Okay, to be fair, I crash a lot whenever I'm running any Unity run games. Uh, I think it's likely because of the NVIDIA issue where you kind of have to go and tweak it yourself in the NVIDIA control panel and you guys have to set the max FPS to 30 FPS and turn off the low latency, which I feel like it fixes it, but I'm still crashing even though I do that. So hopefully there will be a fix for that in the future. Okay, next up, also with language, the use of profanities. I understand this game is about gangsters and you know, gangsters say bad words and all that. I honestly do not mind, but it felt very forced in my opinion. It felt like they used the words way too much, especially the tutorials in my opinion where, I don't know, I just felt like I was reading I'm like, bro, do you have to say the F word there? But that's just me. But overall, the game is absolutely brimming with potential and I would absolutely love to explore more of the game. Honestly, I would really love to see the features they stated come to life, especially the create your own love story at school. That would be really exciting, especially if there's a story about Booty falling in love with a girl from a rival gang, being all, you know, Romeo and juliet -y, minus the death and stabbing at the end. That would be really, really cool. I am absolutely excited to beat up other gangs and see more weapons that Booty is able to wield because so far we were only able to wield two weapons which is like a broom and like keyblade thingy. The keyblade thing is kind of cool though. Like when he does that spinny attack at the end, it kind of reminds of King of Hearts. I'm just like, oh, that is so cool. And I'm really excited to see what various mysteries you can solve and if the game will come with a whole bunch of side quests because that would be exploiting! So yeah, that's what I thought about Gamecom's Parakachu. Honestly, such a great looking game and I am really excited to see more. The game will be out on the 29th of October this year so they do have a lot of time to polish it up and I do hope another demo will come out soon just to kind of like, you know, show us what's happening before the game comes out. And that's all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know in the comments which game from Southeast Asia you would like us to deconstruct. And I will see you guys soon. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go beat up some losers because I too would like to be the part of the gang called Parakachu. Bye!